hello good morning and uh, another quick video from solar kev at the solar shed okay you can see oh just drop down we're down at 68 percent 1.35 kilowatts you can see yesterday a little bit of shade and cloud was going up to 72 and uh, today's been an almost perfect day so far and here we are at um 10 to 11 and it's generating nicely and i'm gonna have a little experiment today hopefully this won't take too long i have to pause it if needs be but um what we're gonna do is we're gonna um have a look at the oops where are we have a look at the effects of shading on um, not shading sorry of cooling on panels so before i go to my next appointment you see it's a glorious day there's not a cloud in the sky although there might be a little tiny bit of haze up there and i'm not sure yet no there's no shadow yet i've got um a wire that goes of my panels i do get a bit of shade from that i'll talk about that another day now my panels are a little bit dusty a little bit of bird poo on there because of all the wire above so what we're going to do got an 800 litre water butt we're going to turn whoops let's plug it in plugs up here somewhere and we're going to turn the water on on the panels let's go back to the computer 72 percent you can see that there we go nice and zoomed in now what we're going to do is have a look at the effects of water um as it actually happens so oh hold on that's not very good the sprinkler system's not working very well let's turn that one off the hose has come out and uh we'll turn this one on is that one on where are we Hold on, yep, there we go. Right, okay, let me go up onto the... Oh! And we'll be able to see from here. So let me turn that around. I'm going to put that down. Somewhere safely. Let's turn the water on. Now what we're doing is we're going to cool the panels down with fresh... Well, I say fresh, it's rain. Well, it is fresh because there's a lot of rain. First of all, you can see some steam come off the panels, first of all, because the panels are going to be very, very hot. Well, not very, very hot, but they're going to be quite hot. Now, heat is a resistor. <clears throat> and if heat is a resistor, then if we're burning off heat, we're not generating the electricity. So, let's clean these panels off. Let's get the grass. Let's get the bird poo. And this is just ordinary water coming through a pump. So it's, a, it's fresh rainwater. There's no, you know, lime scale. It's not going to lime scale up. Because if you've done this with... <coughs> um, what do you call it, water? Tap water on a day like today. You're going to end up with white residue all over your panels. They look ugly and they'll actually decrease <coughs> the amount of energy that you generate. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of steam coming up. And remember, it was at 72%. So I'll just give these a bit of a, a soak in. I can't do too much because it's all handheld. For some reason, um, my uh, sprinkler system's dislodged itself, which is just a couple of hoses on a fine mist. And what we'll do is we'll just cool the panels down. I'm not going to sort that out now because I've got an appointment to go to. Let's cool these down. Get some water on all of these panels. There's only eight of them here. There's eight 250 watt panels. That's uh, a two kilowatt system. And let's put some moisture in front. Bearing in mind that these panels, I've said it before, these panels, they want to um, work with uh, in a moist air environment yeah a lot of panels are, uh, to get the maximum efficiency they're designed in very arid conditions they're designed for arid you know desert like conditions central europe um the central european plain they've got very very dry air the, the panels that we have here have been developed specifically for um to take in a refracted light there's a few panels like that nowadays this isn't the only one um i still consider it the best purely because i've got data i've got knowledge of it um, and it's the only one that our company still fits after four and a half years as well. So we, we trust that we have a very good relationship and we are actually the importer. If you go onto Philadelphia Solar's website and you look at the partners, you'll see that Renewable Technologies, my parent company, are the ones on there. Um, you can Google search Renewable Technologies or just go to solar-power.co.uk. It's all the same. We are there. So let me just cool these down a bit more. Now, putting, first of all, lowering the temperature. And secondly, um, increasing the amount of moisture in front of the panels. So we're doing two things here. And cleaning the bird sheet off. So actually three things. We're making them a bit cleaner as well. What we're doing 
is hopefully, because I'll keep this live, I won't pause the video, hopefully what you'll see is an increase in production. Now, I don't expect people to stand there with hoses up a ladder, wearing a suit or otherwise, to do this with their solar panels. I don't expect any of you guys to do that. But I'm just trying to demonstrate to you the power of it. So if you can fix up something or, you know, or keep your panels clean, if you can fix up something which is automatic, so you've got a, um, a water butt pump inside of a, a water butt, taking hoses up underneath your panels and then bringing a sprinkler out on top of them, if it's safe to do, oh look, hold on, look at that. We can make rainbows. I don't know if you can see that. Hey, everyone likes a rainbow. And underneath every rainbow, there's a pot of gold. <laughs> hey, look at that, magic. Right, let me, uh, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. Let me go and uh, see if we've cooled these down enough now. Turn that off. Lodge that in there. And then let's go back down. So, turn it off. Although it's free electricity and free water, let's see if this has worked. Straight back in. And lo and behold, we're up to 79%. Hey, that's pretty cool. So, we're using free electricity to move free water around the solar panels. It's not cost us anything a little bit of fun to generate more electricity which earns me more money which powers more appliances oh man i like this game this is a really good game there you go seeing is believing and we're up to 80 percent and that'll keep increasing a little bit and then all of a sudden when the panels start to get a little bit warmer and the uh, the rain well sort of should say the water dissipates and and you know dries off gets burnt off then you'll see that that will drop again. Um, if I was to do this at the sun's peak in about half hour, 45 minutes time, then what you'd see is a, a massive um, increase because it just goes absolutely mental then. But anyway, there you go. Seeing is believing at the solar shed, turning daylight into money. Cheers now.